Good morning, everyone. We are Nadlan broadcasting to you from the east coast of New York, and we are starting right now with another post from our entrepreneur of the week doing real estate in the US so you can become one yourself. All right, so we are Nadlan broadcasting to you from the east coast of New York, giving you daily updates from real estate entrepreneurs so you can become one yourself. And today we have another post from our entrepreneur of the week. Um, so who, who are we? Nadlan is providing real estate courses, mentoring, financing, deal analysis services, and great deal offerings. We have a group of analysts that are locating great deals for you guys. So you are more than welcome to contact us. You can text us, you can email us, you can contact us on the website. If you like our content, please give us a thumbs up so YouTube will show this content to more users. Register to our channel and hit the notification button so you can get an alert when we publish new content. So this will make sure you get notified about every new video we post. And you're also welcome to find us on Facebook, social networks, and so on. All right, so let's get to it. All right, so before we're going to get to the post of the day, all right, that talks about integrity in uh, real estate, uh, let's take a look at some of the news on, in our groups and website. So we have a user, um, a member, looking for recommendations for a real estate lawyer and contracts from experience in Long Island area. All right, let's see what else. All right, we have some news about Foxconn. Foxconn Technology Group, the world's largest electronic manufacturer, has reached a new deal with reduced tax breaks for its scaled-back project in southwest Wisconsin. Details of the new deal were not immediately released. All right, so whoever doesn't know, Foxconn is the biggest manufacturer in the world for electronics, and they are, they are the company that produces iPhones. Um, for Apple. So they reached a new deal. There was an older deal in 2017 that was supposed to bring 13,000 jobs to Wisconsin. And um, eventually there was uh, some struggling about that. So now they reached a new deal. So you can read all about it in our website. All right. So another user is looking for flip deals in San Antonio, Texas. So you can go here and see all of the recommendation that users gave him. And um, there is a lawsuit in Tel Aviv, Tel Aviv District Economic Court. So there is a large investment company in Israel called Agshama. Um, and this lawsuit is about basically the way this company was publishing their projects in the US and worldwide. A real estate project mostly to investors so they were supposed to market to up to 35 people um, to give uh, the data uh, to because it's considered to be like uh, basically stock offering and they did it in a wrong way they uh, subdivided them into group like gold bronze silver etc and each one had 35 people so currently there is a lawsuit against them and uh, you can go and read about it on our site so without further ado let's go into the post of the day after this short break All right, guys, we are back with post number three from Inon Kadis, and this one is about integrity and honesty. And Inon shares with us a quote from Ross Wilson, 
your level of integrity contribute to your success over the long term. Definitely makes sense. So, you know, he's saying, remember I told you about starting my career in real estate as a real estate agent. So today I will talk about the reason for switching from an intelligence broker to an investment lender in the United States and about the honest person who made me believe in humanity again. So let's jump in time there. In one of the brokerage deals I did in Modin, Modin is a city in Israel, a four bedroom apartment uh, was uh, published for investment, a strange apartment, but with potential, I came across a number of, of people from the real estate market in the city. During my first year in employment, I had only heard terrible stories about weeds in the field, but I had not personally met such people. All right, so he heard about, uh, a lot about scam uh, in that business of being a broker. So let's see what he found out. So this, this thing in you, the apartment, which I'd previously visited with another client when the price was much higher, fell dramatically after several months and was cut by about 20%. I, who recognized the potential among the first, and my relationship with the realtor on the other side was great, Galit the champion. <laughs> I decided to bring in, as soon as possible, another client who will check if the investment is right for them. After one tour of the property, things started to heat up and I prepared Galit for an upcoming quote. Galit, who is just a huge heart with a lot of emotion, told me that at the same time, there are two realtors who manage to bring in clients, but I get priority from the very priority and the familiarity. All right. After a few days, another meeting was held at the property and the story had already progressed to negotiation before attorneys closed. The whole story, a week and a half. Know what happened at that time? The landlord received inquiries directly from those realtors, which is illegal and unethical, right? One, sent him pro provocative photos of her and asked him to move forward with her and her clients. Oh, wow. Another called claiming that we had a client who wanted to buy the apartment immediately and was willing to pay more and slander Galit that she was not doing a good job. And one more just got home, knocked on the door, equipped with stories that do not embarrass Disneyland. I will note that all of these brokers knew for sure about Galik's exclusivity. The righteous landlord, without bottling an eyelid, immediately called his mediator and told her about the matter. She, of course, told me, and I, of course, was horrified that there was such scam in the local market. A total dog competition running in a circle. From there, to the conversation, the road was short. So long story short, the deal was signed, the landlord and Galit got what they wanted. My client won a great apartment at great price. The free scam did not get a good name for a good deal. And me, I won a nice check and a sweet lesson for life. Whatever is yours will reach you. Just keep your values. A sentence a friend told me. In the book of Ecclesiastes, it is written, I return and saw under the sun, for not to the easy race, nor to the heroes of war, nor to the wise bread, nor to the wise wealth. Let go that I am a believing person, yes? And Solomon, the wisest of men, said these things. It's karma. Be zero, you will get zero. No zero. No this torsions, no wisdom, no lies, and no wisdom. Integrity, trust, honesty, purity. Rather, which are one in my eyes, putting the person on the safe path to success in the long run. And this is hope you loved. All right. So this was a non-post about integrity. And write us down in the comments, what do you guys think about this post? Um, what do you think? Uh, about integrity in the profession of being a broker, a real estate broker. And of course, um, you can tell us stories that happened to you 
uh, with integrity of being a broker. And uh, don't forget to like us and subscribe to the channel and hit that bu bell button so you will get more notification about our post daily. All right, so thank you everyone for being with us and we're gonna see you here tomorrow. <laughs>